unleash your digital da Vinci without spending a single cent, stick with me for eight short minutes and I'll show you how to create breathtaking AI visuals, no code, no skills, no credit card required. Watch to the end and I'll show you the key strategy for maximizing your Leonardo AI credits that 99% of other users aren't doing. By the end of this video, you'll have your own Leonardo AI account, you'll be able to make AI generated video clips and you'll know the key settings to tweak inside Leonardo AI to stretch those credits. First, we're going to unpack exactly what Leonardo AI is and why it might just be the best value image generator online today. Leonardo AI lets you unleash your creativity with the power of artificial intelligence. This is going to be one of the easiest account creation processes you've ever done. Simply click on create an account. You'll be greeted with a sign up or login with page. On this page, you'll see the branded options, Apple, Google, or Microsoft. You can use any one of your accounts with those platforms to make your account on Leonardo AI. I recommend doing it this way because it makes it as easy as possible. I clicked on Google, it's that easy. It's a two click process to make an account with Leonardo AI. The first thing you'll notice on the home page is a stream of user generated images. These images are a great way to find inspiration and you can even click on them to find out exactly what prompt and features were selected when that user created that image. Whilst these user generated images are fantastic, they were probably made without a full understanding of how to economically use your Leonardo AI credits. So don't just go straight ahead and start replicating what they've done, making the same mistakes that they made. Still on the homepage, right at the top, you'll see all of the features which Leonardo AI has. We've got image generation, we've got real-time canvas, there's a canvas editor, which is another way of saying in-painting and out-painting. We've got motion, we've got real-time generation, and we've got a universal upscaler. Because Leonardo AI is built on stable diffusion technology, it gets all of the latest updates added to its feature set regularly. For this video, we're gonna be focusing on where I believe Leonardo AI's strengths really shine through, image generation and motion for making AI video clips starting with just simple text. The image generation functionality in Leonardo AI is as simple as it is everywhere else. All you have to do is type in a simple text prompt. In this case, I took a lot of inspiration from Dune and I wrote a backlit movie poster for a dramatic Hollywood film called The Dunes. After you click generate, you'll notice that the credits you have in your wallet have been reduced by 16. Every day you're given 150 free credits, so it's important to spend them wisely. The images that Leonardo AI produces are beautiful and are of the same standard and quality that you'll find from similar image generation platforms like Midjourney. But the image generation capabilities are not the be all and end all of Leonardo AI. You can take those images and produce four second motion picture clips. Simply click on the icon which resembles a film reel, that's the motion button. You'll be greeted with the image to motion pop-up. In this menu, you'll be able to change your source image and you'll be able to change the motion strength ranging from 1 to 10, where 10 is much stronger. Be careful before you click generate though, you must notice that the credit cost for this is 25. After clicking generate on your image to motion prompt, you'll probably have to wait up to two minutes for your generation to complete. Here's an example of a video clip generated with a motion strength of two. You'll notice that the motion is very slight. Whilst the motion is very slight, the consistency between frames is very good. Here's an example of a video clip generated using a motion strength of four. The motion is noticeably more impactful, but there is a major trade-off when it comes to consistency between frames. I've found that a motion strength of four is kind of the peak of where you really wanna be playing. Here's an example of motion strength cranked up all the way to 10. The motion is quite intense, but the frames are noticeably inconsistent. All of the detail sort of blurs, warps, and kind of gets lost by the end of the four seconds. Maybe if you're going for sort of a visual representation of an acid trip, this would be a good way to go about it. But for most general purpose use, you wanna to stick to four or five in your motion strength field. Comparing this to one of the better known image to video platforms available, Runway ML, I've used the same exact source image as the starting frame. And while Runway ML does offer more control in its user interface, there are additional trade-offs. 
Just like we saw with the high motion strength in Leonardo AI, frame to frame consistency drops off very quickly. And on top of this, Runway ML has got a much more stylistically inclined model. By the end of frame four, you'll see that the color has changed completely. Now for me, that's not really something I wanna go for, but again, that might just be a matter of preference. Before you run off and make your own Leonardo AI image and video clip generations, you'll wanna change these key features in order to stretch your tokens as far as they will go. If you've just created your Leonardo AI account, these are the settings that you'll have as default. You'll notice that a generation using these settings costs 40. If you leave the settings at these default values, you'll only be able to click generate less than four times before all of your credits are spent for the day. The first number you wanna take a look at is the number of images generated per click. The default value is four. That's what most mid-journey users will probably be used to, but reducing this number can help save you quite a lot. Reducing it down to one will save you a whopping 24 credits per generation. The next settings you'll want to toggle off, especially if you've just created your account, you'll have access to some paid features for a trial period. Those features are Photo Real version 2 and Alchemy version 2. Turning off Photo Real version 2 will save you a further 6 credits taking your total credit saved per generation to 30. Turning off Alchemy version two as well will save you an additional seven credits, bringing a generation cost down to only three per image. This will save you a total of 37 credits compared to the default settings. All of these additional optional features which we've turned off are designed to help create more visually interesting and appealing images. But these quality changes are not nearly as significant as they ought to be. Take a look at the image here on the left. It costs 16 credits to generate. On the right is an image which costs only three credits to generate. And whilst the colors are maybe more vibrant and saturated on the left, that's nothing you can't tweak using simple features available in free tools like Canva. The resolution is roughly the same and can also be upscaled using free tools like Upscale. If you'd like a free downloadable PDF version of this tutorial, click on over to the Gumroad link in the description box below. It'll cost you zero dollars. And that's how you create better art using fewer credits than 99% of other people on Leonardo AI. If you found this tutorial useful, leave it a like. If you wanna create the perfect backing track to go with your AI generated video, Watch this tutorial on how to make AI-generated music using Suno AI.